74 members was quite limited, uh, but uh, freshman year in Marshall dorm, um, I became acquainted with and then fast friends with Mary Katie Hayes. Mary Katie Hayes was from Tampa, uh, and she was in college uh, here at Mary Washington, notwithstanding the fact that she had been diagnosed with colon cancer and had been uh, struggling through chemo at MD Anderson Hospital in uh, Houston, Texas. She came to, to college uh, and was on the mend, uh, and uh, she and I uh, uh, went on our road trips together um, uh, to Ashland and to Charlottesville and to Richmond. In fact, I was her maid of honor in the summer of 1972 uh, she married uh, Leo Perebsky in Tampa, uh, and it, it, was, uh, it was a great time. Uh, got to know and meet her entire family, um, and uh, uh, she didn't return to Mary Washington after she got married. In fact, uh, she did take a turn for the worse. And died in April of 1973, just after her 21st birthday. Uh, the friendship and the impact and the strength of character and the courage that she showed in battling her illness and to being a true part of Mary Washington and becoming my friend was very special. I just heard from her niece, uh, she of course didn't know she had a niece, uh, now 29 years old, who called me, contacted me uh, in my chambers uh, just last week to say that her 96-year-old uh, grandfather, Mary Katie Hayes' father, uh, G.R. Hayes, was looking for me, had lost contact with me. I had communicated with him and Sophia, uh, uh, Katie's uh, mother, when I uh, made a contribution uh, for the Alumni Center and put a plaque on the wall in her memory. And uh, we've set up a conference call and are exchanging emails after all these years. Uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty special. You do create special friendships. Thank you.